Start. This is my Rube Goldberg project. I built a self-contained machine so I could easily move it if necessary and try to make recording easier. The main structure is built out of an old pegboard from my garage. Each feature is made from craft boards that I got cheap at the dollar store along with items that I found at home. The machine starts with simple vents that get more complex towards the end. The machine starts with a matchbox car on a level platform. The only human interaction needed is to push the car forward off the platform. The car starts with gravitational potential energy that accelerates the cars towards the dominoes at the bottom of the incline. The kinetic energy of the car is transferred to the first domino on impact. As each domino falls, it transfers energy to the next domino in sequence. The marble prior to its movement is at rest on a small indented platform to hold the marble in place. When the last domino falls, it hits the marble, accelerating it forward, sending it down another inclined plane. Once the marble reaches the end of the inclined ramp, the marble falls off the ramp and rolls towards a spring-loaded wall that compresses once the marble comes in contact with it, propelling the marble in the opposite direction, next using the elastic energy. Once the marble is propelled in the opposite direction, now going left, it rolls on a flat plane towards another bumper connected to a wooden rod creating a launcher. When the marble hits the bumper, sending a wooden rod through a plastic straw, it then makes contact with another wooden rod, allowing it to make contact with the next feature. Once the wooden rod is pushed partially through the plastic straw of the previous feature, it makes contact with the domino connected to the string that is up top of a wooden platform. Once the wooden rod makes contact with the domino and pushes it off the wooden platform, it sends it down a wooden ramp while pulling off a string that will start the next feature. The string for the previous feature then pulls out a wooden rod or a release pin that releases a plastic pinwheel that spins down a plastic screw to the next feature. Once the plastic pinwheel reaches the near bottom of the plastic screw, it hits two dominoes glued to each other and a string. That when it falls from the wooden platform, it activates a pulley system that elevates another double stack domino into a switch. This demonstrates a two to one mechanical advantage that I learned from YouTube. In the following event, the pulley system activates a wooden lever that activates a double geared system that shifts a wooden paddle wheel into another domino line. Once the first domino is knocked over by a wooden paddle with the previous feature, it creates a short domino line that once the final domino is knocked over, it falls onto a wooden seesaw that pushes the opposite side up. Once the saw seesaw system is activated in the preceding feature, it propels a wooden rod into a trap door allowing the system to climb back up more towards the top of the pegboard. Once the trapdoor is activated by the previous feature, a domino is knocked forward by the door starting at a brief domino line. The final domino is connected to a string that is further connected to a fidget spear that when it swings back it falls into the domino into the next feature. The domino from the preceding feature then swings the fidget spear into a metal washer, launching it down the slide, where once it reaches the bottom of the slide it falls into a metal contact switch completing an electrical circuit. Once the electrical circuit that is powered by four AA batteries and a DC motor is completed, along with a spool of thread, it begins winding up. When the thread on the spool and the DC motor combine reaches its maximum tension, it pulls out a wooden pin at the top of the machine and releases a marble drop, and right after it breaks the circuit when a metal pin is released along with the drop. Once the marble is dropped and tipped over and releases the group of marbles, the marbles flow down a funnel into a down tube that drops the marbles into a final cup through adjusted flaps at the bottom of the tube, slowing the flow of marbles down and completing the Rube Goldberg project.